Coucou les filles, it's Jen. We've been having such great weather in Paris the past two or three days, so I figured why not take out the camera and vlog a little bit. I did want to talk about my experience with uh, school, my first two weeks of school. And yeah, I figured why not take you guys along. I'm going to hopefully meet up with uh, Talia, who you guys have met in my French anniversary vlog. Um, and we're gonna get some studying done because I am a student now. last two weeks because I've been back from Los Angeles for two weeks and it's been such a hectic time such a hectic time I started school like as soon as I came back and it's really hard it's actually super hard um, I didn't expect to be taking nine classes uh, seven seven classes and then two lectures so it is really really heavy much heavier than I thought um, I was under the impression, as per all my colleagues at work, that, oh, you know, French students, they never go to class, and it's not that big of a deal, and it's okay. So needless to say, she's a busy girl. She's really, really busy right now, and it is kind of overwhelming how much work I have to do. And because I was in Los Angeles, I actually was behind two weeks as soon as I came back so I have to catch up with all the reading from seven different classes the first week was really hard I had to convince all my teachers to let me in their class and some teachers were not very nice about it and that was really sad because I have to just kind of take it most teachers were amazing and so sweet and so accommodating and I'm very very grateful because I actually like what I'm studying I'm studying history of art at La Sorbonne and I like my teachers and I like what I'm learning and even though it's really hard my comprehension level is still at like I want to say like 70% and I have to translate things into English still and kind of retranslate it back into French when I have to write it it is something that I'm really proud to be doing here in Paris and I can't believe that I got in and I'm I'm not a person who was really academic in Los Angeles so if you would have told me a, a couple years ago that I would be in Paris studying at the school called La Sorbonne um, I would have been like me, me really uh, so it's just with that being said, it's been hard kind of juggling work and going to school and I've been really really kind of sad about that because I want to do a good job in every area in my life and I feel like I don't have a lot of energy or time to give it all that I have so I think with work it's been really kind of stressing me out because they've been throwing a lot at me so it's been kind of sad depressing it was a month that I couldn't pay my rent <laughs> I had to ask my parents and that's really shameful for me like being being almost 30 and you know my parents like you don't have money they don't have money to help me so if I'm really asking it's because I, I really need it but if I'm really asking it's like I feel like a piece of shit for doing that so it's been a hard month it really has what I'm looking forward to is is doing better in school and what I'm looking forward to is if I have to find a different way of making money in this country I have to get on that and that's really stressful and it scares me it scares me to switch a job because I don't know foreigner yeah. an interesting time back um, I'm trying to just do the best that I can any frustration that I have in my life is always 
going to be because of me. I'm the only person that makes me miserable and I'm the only one who can change that at the same time. So I'm trying to do my best. Uh, any complaint that I have is never like, oh, I want to go back to America because that's what's going to be easy. I think for me, it's more of like financially, this is not the place for me to come and save money. And I wish I, wish I had a bigger savings before I left but unfortunately that's that's not what happened and that's okay that's okay the only thing I do think about when it comes to the US is like maybe I should go back to save more money to to work over there and save more money because what I want eventually what I eventually want is to start my own business I think that's how American expats do it here either they get married to someone who is French a French national which I but that's another story um, or they start their own business that's not a bad idea why not do that I would have never entertained this idea when I was in America because I always thought like oh I'm not strong enough I'm not smart enough like I'm not business savvy enough and then I come here and I have to like kind of hustle and I have to make everything happen on my own and I like fight and I really have a drive and perseverance and I learned all of that here and now I, I think so much differently I think so much differently and so yeah I, I, I'm a whole different person than I ever was in the US and I'm grateful for that there's a bad side to that too and that is in terms of confidence not having enough money does a lot to my confidence but it's given me so many more positive traits to my personality. This hungry person, this like really, really ambitious person, that is not who I was in the US. That is who I am now. And I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take advantage of that. There's a puppy now, I'm distracted. Look at him. <laughs> I think everything will turn out okay. I'm, I get into, I have a couple days where I'm just like, I'm, I'm crying because I'm so stressed or I'm crying because I'm so frustrated and I feel so far away from everything that I want to be. But at the end of the day, like, I, I keep going. I get through everything that I'm complaining about. I get through it and I keep going. And I have to keep reminding myself that what I'm going through is temporary and not to stay stuck because we can easily easily stay stuck and just complain about what's happening in our life and get distracted and never make a change to get better and so in a couple of months we'll be complaining about the same thing routine 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 of like i'm happy i'm happy i'm happy but you gotta change you gotta make changes you got to evolve and so it's time for me to make a change for the better in terms of my financial situation here in Paris because it's been a year and it's clearly not working out the way it's been going. Yes, I hope a year from now, I hope even a couple of few months from now, I'm going to hopefully be in a better place than I am now. And hopefully that makes me a more happy, confident person, more of what I need to be, more of what I need to be. It's just hard times, you know? Moving, being an expat, you know, learning. It's not always good times, so. Yeah. Solo. 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 Nasty. Solo. Solo. Master's student? I am an L3 student. Yes. Licence 3, that's like bachelor's, third year, that's equivalent. Like, yeah. yeah. Well, third, fourth year. Third, fourth year. Yes. It's so such a weirder system. So she comes here to study. She was so good and productive today. Me, I was shooting. Uh, and now, yeah, we're gonna walk around. I think I'm going to end the vlog here. It was so nice to walk into you guys in a way. So thank you guys so much for watching me. 
and also yeah I want to I want to make a video about um, answering your questions so if you guys have any questions please feel free to DM me on Instagram um, leave a comment here on this video or even email me so best ways to reach me I think are Instagram because I'm fucking always on it I don't know why um, but yeah thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you next time bye